All right, all right, all right. You guys already know what time it is. Welcome, 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 guys. It is New Year, New You, our virtual conference, darling. Make sure you go ahead and share this content. Please share this video right now, right now. Share it. I'll let your girl. Vision of Vine, and we are here on day five, darling, of New Year, New You, the virtual conference. And so I see some of you guys are starting to shout yourselves out. Guys, do me a favor and let me know what city and state you guys are chiming in from, what city and state you guys are chiming in from. I can tell you that we've been doing this now for the past couple of days, with the exception of Sunday, and it has been absolutely lit, okay? And if you missed any of our live trainings, all you have to do, guys, is you can go back to watch the replay by simply joining and registering. You go to New Year, NewYouOnline.com, and then what you want to make sure, guys, that you do is you go to the Facebook group. We have all the replays there, but we're also going to start posting them on the New Year, New You online registration page as well. So make sure, guys, that you definitely do that. Let's go ahead and shout out some people who are joining us live. I have posted a couple of you guys already. We have Melanie White out of St. Louis, Stevie Mills out of Roanoke, Virginia, Rhonda out of Jonesboro, Georgia, Renee out of Atlanta, Dennis out of Houston, Texas, Adeline out of Atlanta, Regina, all the way from Buffalo, New York, Natalie in Nashville, Tennessee, See, we have Rachel in Philadelphia, PA. We have Janice out of Buckingham, Vir uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Buckingham, Virginia. Joy out of Austin. These they starting to pop in real fast, y'all. Joy out of Austin. Rosaline out of my uh, Miami. Linda out of Raleigh. Elisa out of Tampa. John ATL. We have Lisa out of Plano. Y'all, we are fired up and pumped up. I know some of you guys are also watching on the watch parties. We have Jacqueline out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Ayana out of Buckingham, Virginia. Tanisha out of Miami. Charlisa out of Atlanta. Welcome, 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 guys. And also, I want to know who has actually shared this broadcast today. If you have shared this physical broadcast today, I want you to type hashtag shared. Because one thing I do understand, guys, is that we, as we are going here in this year of 2020, we must live in abundance. And abundance means that we are willing to share and be the bridge to help connect other people to the information. You know, one thing I have never been shy of is being able to connect people to the right people. People, and I'm going to tell you guys, that has always turned into a huge blessing for myself. And so if you have shared it, make sure y'all go up ahead and put hashtag shared, hashtag shared, hashtag shared to all of my sharers in the house. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. 
I'm telling you, uh, teamwork makes the dream work. How you doing? Okay, so I'm looking down here because I'm checking this all out. I wish y'all could see my little setup right now, honey. I have my ring light on. I plugged in my ring lights. You know, that's one of the giveaways, right? I've got my camera on. I've got my microphone. Every single thing that I'm using with the exception of my MacBook Pro, we are literally giving away for the New Year, New You virtual conference. So if you, I mean, and then of course this backdrop, I'm at my uh, co-working space here. And so I, I ain't giving away a backdrop. Or am I? You know, every time I think of something, I just start thinking of different things that I can help give y'all. Maybe I might throw in a green screen, a green screen, because what's dope about this software that I'm using right now is that in this software, I could literally key out my background if I wanted to and have a whole green screen for y'all. And so I don't know, I might be feeling something, might be throwing in some green screens for y'all, portable green screen, so that you can go into this year looking real lit and super fancy and all that stuff i don't know i might need to test it out so tomorrow what i'll do is i'll make sure to bring my green screen in so that we can test it out and see what it looked like and if it looked real fly i might even throw that in too so that's what i'm talking about thank you guys so much to everybody who is sharing this platform and guys don't forget that you have to um, share the platform in order to win anyways, okay? So make sure that you guys share, invite some people to be a part of this platform. Uh, but let me go ahead and tell y'all again, like I told you, every single day we are doing a free giveaway. There's absolutely no purchase required. All you simply need to do is three things. Number one is you must register by going to newyearnewyouonline.com. You must be registered. Number two is you have to join the broadcast and be on live because as soon as we finish with our guest speaker today, we will be logging off and we will be opening it up for opportunities for you guys to actually win one of our giveaways. And then number three, you must share this broadcast on your personal timeline. And it has to be the broadcast that you actually won on the day that you won it. So just so that you understand what we mean, we will go back to verify that you actually shared it. And the reason why we do this, guys, is because, again, like I told you, I just believe in an abundance mentality. I don't really believe technically uh, there is, yes, competition out here in this space. But the truth is this, guys, if we understood how powerful we were together, we wouldn't be so focused on trying to beat the other person. Because, you know, I'm, look, I'm in the book writing space. And you know what's so funny is I help people to write books specifically entrepreneurs right I don't have a target market of everyone I have a target market specifically of entrepreneurs who want to write how-to books but then what about when somebody comes to me and they say well I want to write a memoir or I want to write a storybook or a fiction story or something of that nature I don't do those types of books and I don't really want to do those types of books and so the great thing is that if I have other people who are in the space of book writing being that me trying to take all the business and not necessarily, uh, I don't specialize in that type of style of writing, I can be able to connect them to someone else. And now we have a strong platform where even if I don't necessarily help in that space, I have somebody else who does. See, that's what we've got to start thinking about for 2020 because in order for you to grow a dynamic business that is doing multiple six and possibly seven figures, you cannot do it alone. So I appreciate everybody who has shared this information. You guys absolutely rock. How are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get ready to bring up our guest speaker for today, y'all. And that's another thing. Haven't these speakers been awesome so far, y'all? I mean, when I tell you, we had Justin Burns just this Saturday, and he was talking to us about creating your online courses and programs, and then all of our other speakers that we have had. And you think that it has been lit so far, y'all, every single day for the next, what, 15, 16, 17 days, we have somebody that's going to be live with the exception of Sunday because you know Sunday is my day to go hang out with Jesus and some Jesus juice right but every single other day y'all we are going live with another speaker designed to set you guys up for business success so we've had some great speakers so far and so I'm going to go ahead and bring her on the screen in a second this young lady is not only is she an author 
Not only is she a speaker and a coach, y'all, she's been all over the news. I want y'all to understand something. This thing has been all over the news, all over the uh, the media. She is literally taking her businesses to the next level. She owns multiple businesses, by the way. So she is not just a solo or individual entrepreneur of one business. She is a multipreneur. She is doing some great things. And that is why I think this topic that she's speaking on today is perfect because she's going to be talking to you guys about how to to market your business so let me see if i can bring her on right now we have none other oh girl you are out the screen scooch over a little bit towards your book scoot over a little bit there she is the beautiful adrian crawford all the way in alabama roll tide what's going on love <laughs> nothing much just out here marking these books No, she does not. She'll leave home without the books, without her magazine, without her shirt. When I say she is the ultimate marketer, this is who you are talking to. And so I'm going to go ahead and, Adrian, allow you to take the floor so that you can share all this great information on how to market your business. Take it away, darling. All right. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I'm Adrian Crawford, and I'm here to talk to you about how to market your business. When I first got in the space of owning my business, getting started to grow my business, and of course, finding funding for my business, I'm going to tell you a secret. I was working two jobs. So instead of going out here, getting all these loans, I used my job for my funding. So a lot of times when people say, I don't have the funds or I don't have the money, sure you do. Because if you're working a second job, you need to start investing in you. And at that time, I was working in the fast food industry, and that was many, many, many moons ago. And honey, I got into the MLM industry. I think I left the drive through on automatic because I was presented with an opportunity to go to Atlanta. And honey, I just moved and shaked my way on to Atlanta into the coffee business. And after that, I just went from coffee to just being creative to opening and launching in my own business. I also got into um, volunteering services, and there's so many organizations out there that's well known that you can actually attach yourself to and get your name out. So that's one way you can market yourself in your business, especially if you're getting started. The second, Toastmasters. If you're afraid to speak, Toastmasters is the place to be because they teach you all the things about, you know, how you're speaking and you say, um, and you put all these filler words there. They teach you not to be nervous. They teach you everything that you need to know as far as becoming a public speaker. And it really helps because with these organizations, they're always looking for someone to speak, especially in your expertise. Then nonprofit organizations. There are so many nonprofit organizations, guys. And this is where the networking come in. This is where you connect with others, other business owners or others that's looking to start a business. And that's where you create your email list and you start actually just networking together. And that's how I started building my client base. Then after that, after I got all these successes and I started launching my own business, did the coffee thing, and it wasn't just coffee. I turned that coffee into frappes, mocha, lattes, iced coffees. I did some of everything, okay? After I did that, I opened up my barbershop. The barbershop thing, coffee cuts and conversation. I had coffee going one way. I had plenty of conversation coming in the door. And then, of course, the cuts was, was on deck, okay? Then after that, here we come with the author. After all these successes, you want to combine all that into being an author. And writing a book was the best thing I ever did. Because with my book, as you can see, I leverage it everywhere. I can be at a traffic light and I'm holding that book up. Everybody know about Life of an Entrepreneur. They know about my second book, Scars. And they also know about Entrepreneurs on the Move magazine. So all this creativity, I'm just putting it based on everything that I do. And I just market it. Last but not least, media. Media loves controversy. They love it. So this title, Life of an Entrepreneur, they don't even know what's in that book. The title, Scars, oh my God, they just dying to know what scar. 
I cannot wait till that book is released in February. But media, all you have to do is get in touch with the assistant director of the news. Get their email address. Email them. Let them know what the topic is. But your topic has to be catchy. It has to be catchy because they get so many emails coming through the station. And if they select you, you need to be ready. And one way to be ready is you know your business, you know yourself, you know your talk. You will come up with those. Normally, it's five questions. You make them. You, you jot them out. You put the answers to them. And they will turn around and ask you those questions. So you are already set up for success. So basically, that's, that's my six ways of how you can market your business. But I'm telling you guys, being an author is great. And I, when I wrote my book, I said, no, my book will not be garage qualified. Because if I paid all this money to invest in me, you best to believe I'm going to get that being some. And I have made my money back. I didn't triple my money back. I have gotten involved with schools, colleges, different organizations, just networking all over the place, everywhere. Do we have any questions on the floor? Okay. Well, I actually got in touch with the assistant director, the one that actually makes those decisions on what they want to air. And nine times out of 10, they look at the title. So I would give them a catchy title. That's just like with the drinks. When I made those frappes, I did, um, what did I do? Caramel mocha frappe. And everybody loves coffee. So I was able to go on a set and make that drink. So it's got to be something catchy that's going to have viewers, viewers actually viewing that channel. Okay. So cool. not only does it help you, it helps them as well. Okay. And so, and so I know some people were saying I was muted. My bad. She can hear me though. Uh, and what I asked her was what is some of the things that she's actually saying to those directors for the news? So you said you make sure that it's catchy. So are you saying like in the initial email, like the subject is catchy uh, or are you sending out a letter? Are you mailing them something? Uh, what are you doing? The title. Okay. The title. Make sure because that's the, for they have so many emails coming through. They only looking for that specific, that subject. So if that subject catches their eye, you're in. Mm. They're not even into the body yet. They strictly focus on the subject. That's good. That's really good information. And by the way, guys, if anybody has any kind of marketing questions based upon what you just heard Adrian talk about, please make sure to ask your questions so that we can add it in. Um, okay, so now I have another question. Tell us a little bit about your magazine um, and how you're going to be using this magazine to help promote and market other entrepreneurs. Absolutely. My magazine, Entrepreneurs on the Move, actually what I've been doing is going around and I've recruited so many uh, business owners and CEOs that want to be a part of the magazine and it's actually shining the light and that's another marketing too, especially when you're getting your business on board or you're trying to get your business off of the ground, becoming an author, being in a magazine, I mean, that's, that states who you really are. I mean, it shows, and people love seeing things like that because, for one, it's credibility, okay? And so um, even young authors, young entrepreneurs, anybody that's an entrepreneur in the business, the business world, that's who's in this magazine. We also have an acknowledgement section as well, so we're just all over the place with this magazine, and it's going be, to be lit. <laughs> Look, so I'm excited about it too. I know it's called it's called Entrepreneurs on the Move. Is that correct? That's correct. So how does someone get in touch with you if they want to actually be in the magazine? If they want to be on the magazine, they can get in touch with me by going on, by actually going to my email and that's get you on the move at gmail.com. Get you on the move at gmail.com. 
Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Tell us a little bit about how you have leveraged. Um, I know you talked about Toastmasters. If you could give us some more detail of how you've actually leveraged Toastmasters to market yourself. So I know uh, that you can go to these events, and of course, they're designed to help you to learn how to speak in public. But how were you able to flip that into a marketing experience for you? Yes, I was definitely able to to uh, flip that into marketing because. With the Toastmaster, of course, they do all the teachings to help you with your public speaking, but they also have events, and these events are public speaking events. So you go through this little process where you're doing all these different workbooks, and you're getting time while you're speaking, and if you actually fit all that criteria, they will put you in the loop of those organizations to actually go ahead and get yourself leveraged. And as I'm coming into the room, I'm coming into the room as an author. I have on my certified darlings, let me let you see this here. When I step in the room, I make sure that they know exactly who they're dealing with. And this is a certified author, okay? And then before I even pull this out on the next visit, I just let them know, hey, I'm an entrepreneur, you know, so they already know what they're dealing with. And I also, I always brand myself. I brand myself in everything that I do. I think that's super fire. And I know we always talk about, you know, the fact of, you know, branding yourself, uh, letting what you wear speak volumes for you. And so that's super fire, you know, Adrian, that you, you know, you don't just talk about it, you live it. And I know for a fact, if anybody follows her on social media, every time we get a chance to see her, she is posting something of whether she's on the media, she's out here networking, selling books, uh, talking to people, impacting people. She is constantly leveraging and utilizing her, her media outlets to be able to market her business. And so that is super exciting. I don't know if we have anybody have any questions. If you have questions, guys, definitely make sure that you take the time to ask questions so that you can be a part of this conversation. I know that Sydney says, awesome job, Adrian Hastis. And also what, let us know if you have not had a chance to let us know what city and state you guys are chiming in from. Please do that. Please do that. Where does somebody go if they're trying to find like a local um, uh, Toastmasters in their market? All they have to do is just go to Toastmasters, go on the website, www.toastmasters.com, and just put in a zip code, and it's going to pull up all the Toastmasters that's in their area. Okay. Very simple. Cool. Very simple. Now, what part, of, what part of Alabama are you in specifically? I'm in Iredale. I who and I'm closer to Birmingham. Birmingham. I'm to Birmingham. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. So you and they have they have the Toastmasters events in your city too. They have it in my city. They have it in Birmingham. All the cities that are in the state of Alabama, you better rest assured there's a Toastmasters somewhere. It is only five or ten minutes away. They even have some in your local church area. Okay. Okay. So guys, plug into Toastmasters now. One more time. Go through those six them six te uh, blah, blah, tips steps that you gave us for marketing yourself. One more time, so everybody can take these notes. Sure. The first one is volunteer services, and I'm sure they're everywhere. The second one will be Toastmasters. Your third one will be speaking engagements. Your fourth one would be nonprofit organizations. Be a part of it. Become an author. And after becoming an author, you're on the move on your way to the media. It's just that simple. That's what I'm talking about. And you know what's so dope about that is that Adrian actually happens to be a part of a nonprofit called Urban CEO. As you can see us rocking our shirts. How you doing? And another cool thing is uh, Adrian is about to be one of our newest market leaders in Alabama opening up that market and so we're pumped up and excited we're looking for people to definitely join us and i'm so glad that this is actually the day that we're going to be talking uh, that well, that we have talked with adrian because
because we've just opened up an opportunity for ambassadors, no matter where you are, what city and state, you can actually join us. And so I'm going to tell you guys some more details of that, but we're going to get Adrian just one more time for anybody who wants to know about being in the magazine that is coming out. If you want to know more information about marketing and you want to be able to be connected to someone who is a mover and a shaker, I highly recommend you guys get with Miss Adrian Crawford. So one more time, what is the email for us? I'm going to try to type it on the screen for you. Go ahead. Get you on the move at gmail.com. Get you on the move at gmail.com. All right, y'all. So that is going to be her email. Get you on the move at gmail.com. Do you have any last imparting words that you want to share with us? Stop wasting the time, guys, and do it. Don't say what you're going to do. Just do it. And I, I strongly encourage you to become an owner. If you don't have the money right now, I know sometimes we think about what's in these purses. But I'm telling you, sacrifices. Make the sacrifices. You'll be, you'll be glad that you did. You'll be glad that you did. That's what I'm saying. Being an author is the greatest thing ever. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you need to write that book. Write that book. Write that book. Adrian, we do need to have one question. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
and this is a nonprofit organization that we are looking for more ambassadors. And so a lot of people have been hitting us up. They want to know how can we be an ambassador, okay? There are a lot of advantages when you are an ambassador. I just want y'all to know that we have just recently launched some new stuff. And so I'm going to go ahead and type in the link that you guys need to go to. If you want to know more information about how to be an ambassador, you simply go to this link right here, urbanceonetwork.com forward slash ambassadors. Watch the video. It's four simple steps to join, to be an ambassador. So you want to watch that video in full so you can understand what it means to be an ambassador. And then of course, submit those, um, those, uh, the four steps. Adrian is going to be launching in Alabama. So if you live in Alabama or near Alabama, darling, make sure that you go ahead and sign up to be an ambassador, but also stay tuned for the events that are coming up. The next thing I want to tell y'all guys is that literally just within the past 48 hours, we put out there that we have our Urban CEO Summits that are coming up. To join, to be an ambassador, so you want to watch that video in full so you can understand what it means. You got to turn your ambassador. volume down, Adrian. Those, uh, those, uh, the four steps. Adrian is going to be launching in Alabama. So if you One live second. in Alabama or near Alabama, darling, Make sure that you go Wait ahead on, and sign we got to an echo. <laughs> but also stay tuned for the events that are coming up. The next thing I want to tell y'all guys is that literally just within the past there we go. Okay, awesome. I had to shut it. I'm sorry, Adrian. I had to cut you off, girl, because it was an echo. You had your volume up, uh, and it was throwing me off. But anyways, as I was stating, is we do have our Urban CEO Summits. We've only put it out there in the past 48 hours. We might have like officially put the flyers out there less than 48 hours, and we are already halfway sold out on both of the events. We have the summit that's going to be in Houston as well as the summit that is in Atlanta. Now, both of those summits are specifically for our local market, but we do have people that are traveling in from all over the United States to attend them. If you're interested in attending either one, the great thing about what we do with Urban CEO is our mission is to make our events very low cost, okay? Very low cost. And so if you are near Atlanta or you are near Houston, or maybe you're not and you just want to have a vacay, okay, you can go ahead and register by going to urbanceonetwork.com and then click on the events tab. Now, it's very important, guys, that if you do register, that you show up, okay? Because again, yes, it is free to register, but we're putting a whole lot of money into these events, right? So please don't register if you know you fair weather when you register for free stuff. Now, we will tell you this, we're going to sell out of the free RSVP tickets very quickly. Like those will probably be sold within the next week. I know for a matter of fact, within two weeks, they'll be sold out. Okay. However, we, and it's not a guaranteed seating. I do want you to understand. Oh, by the way, we just secured our Atlanta. Like we're halfway sold out and we didn't even have the location secured yet for Atlanta. Isn't that crazy? Uh, but we'll be announcing that location sometime today. Uh, but what I want you guys to also know is that um, we do have VIP tickets available. Now, if you are an Urban CEO Academy member, okay, all of our Academy members, if you go to urbanceonetwork.com, you can also see details about joining the Academy. All Academy members, if you want a VIP ticket, you get it for 50% off. This is going to guarantee your seating and you're going to have exclusive VIP seating as well as exclusive VIP gifts. Also, all Academy members, you're going to get your very first Urban CEO Power Pack. Only those who are Academy members, registered Academy members, will actually get the pack and you'll get it at the summit. So we have so much that's going on. You're going to get a chance to meet Adrian. You're going to get a chance to meet a lot of our speakers at either one of those summits, okay? And so if you're interested in registering for free or getting your VIP ticket, simply go to urbanceonetwork.com, click on the events tab, and then you can register for whichever event you want to. Other than that, Adrian, you have been a blessing to us, not just to Urban CEO, uh, but also to my business where I'm helping people to write books. Those are two different companies, and she has been plugged into both of them, okay? And so I am grateful for that, and I'm just grateful that she is taking the information and running. You know, it's one thing to have the knowledge, guys, but to apply the knowledge is a whole nother situation. We all talk about learning, 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 and getting fed, and getting fed, and getting 
giving you a coach and all these different things. But if you don't take the information that your coach is giving you and apply it, if you don't take the information that you guys have received from this new year, new you virtual conference and apply it, all of this is just nothing. It's There's no value in it. You know, that's crazy, right? There's no value in information that's not applied. That's pretty good. Everybody type that in. There's no value in information that is not applied. That is the truth, right? There is no value in information that is not applied. And so make sure, guys, that you are taking the information. She gave you six bona fide, sure ways to get yourself out there and market yourself. You might not be able to do all six, but pick two. Pick two today and start doing the action that's needed so that you can get the results that you desire for 2020, all right? Okay, y'all, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing. This was a quick night, a quick day. You know what I'm saying? This was a quick day, right? Adrian said, look, I ain't got to sit up here and talk too long. I'm gonna give you the tips and y'all need to go take action right now and y'all follow her. You need some motivation? She's one to follow. And the crazy thing about it, I can't wait till she gets you get a chance to read her story in the Scars book. The crazy thing about it is she has been dealing with so much and she doesn't make excuses. She doesn't let that be the reason to not take action. She doesn't let it keep her from being focused. She understands that God has already uh, um, ordained our steps and she just keeps pushing. She definitely reflects because we should always reflect on our life, but she is using it not to demotivate, but to motivate her. And so she is an inspiration to not just many, but most definitely to myself. Because whenever I get up on social media and I know that what she has been dealing with over the past few months, she is still out here pushing. I get excited. I say, man, if she can do it, I know I can do it. All right, so make sure you guys plug with Adrian Crawford and make sure you guys do go and submit your information if you want to be an ambassador or you can join the academy. You can actually join the academy for seven days for free and get a chance to kind of play around. Just go to urbanceonetwork.com and you can click on the link for the academy. Or if you want to be an ambassador and that means out here promoting in these streets, joining a nonprofit organization such as Urban CEO, you want to go to urbanceonetwork.com forward slash ambassadors. And guys, do not forget that email that she said, the email that she said, hold on, let me pull it back up. Get you on the move at gmail.com. Get you on the move at gmail.com. Get you on the move at gmail.com. Com. All right, y'all. So that is a wrap. We are done for the day. I hope you guys learned. Don't forget, for those of y'all who want to win, you already know what the drill is. We're about to jump off and then we're going to jump back on to the Facebook group. You must be in the New Year, New You virtual conference Facebook group in order to be um, qualified. Okay, so I'm going to put up the post of what you guys need to do. You already know what you need to do. I'm going to tell you exactly. You, you've been doing it every single day. And so for those of you who are new, just make sure that you do go into that Facebook group and we will get that information popping. All right. So get you on the move at gmail.com and I will see y'all in about a minute. All right. Deuces.